blind as the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. Hmm. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. Let's run. Let's going there is a bad idea. Let's go this way. Oh. Can I go back? Oh. Watch out for the lights! 
Kiddo, how are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. <laughs> what happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan? I will. Bye, kiddo. Mm. So that's Casey and... Oh, sorry. That's Casey and... That's Saga? Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. <laughs> it can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. <laughs> Deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Return one, invitation. Alright. Uh, okay, so uh, charm slots let you equip charms to enhance Saga's ability. Only charms can be trees. equipped in the charm slot. Okay, so I got. I take a look at that map. Increase maximum health. Standard issue FBI side up. Okay, handgun ammo. Um, bracelet made by Logan. I guess Logan is her. His her son. Okay, and the flashlight, right? And I can get. My, I set see my goals here. I guess. Okay. So let's see. The map. The map displays key locations in the area. Alright. So we are at the parking lot. Okay. Nice. Now we gotta get to find the deputy. You're the one who wanted to switch. I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. Hey! Over here! Uh, Cauldron Drake. Rented cabbage. Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. 
You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Where's those damn feds gonna show up, Mulligan? Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton. <laughs> Down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. <laughs> right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Uh... I could use a briefing, what yes. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Morton. <laughs> well, we reckon there are some, uh organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. Any witnesses to Were the there crime? any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out-of-towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. I mentioned the city folk. It's pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. Okay, let's take a look at the body. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Got it, Thornton. <laughs> okay, so we just gotta go there, right? Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Shut up, Thornton. They can still hear you. Okay, review the case. There's a mine palace. What are you saying, FBI? Are we going or not? I need to think through the facts of the case. Okay, you can access the case board inside the mine palace. All right. The mine place. My version of the mine palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mine place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. Okay. Uh, the case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress. Okay, so... Okay, I see. You are now free to navigate the case board. Alright. Slightly different. Uh, let me see. Ted Lane. The victim was reported missing 2010, discovered in 2012. All victims reported missing 2010, no other commonalities. Okay. Found in Cauldron Lake 2018 and two weeks ago. So this is uh, Percy Wolf store owner. Okay. Slightly difference in murders. Uh, bloating only commonality in bo uh, bodies, but not cause of death. Chest trauma. Okay, exposed to, to water post mortem. Strap of belted down. 
Okay, and this is bloating corpse is indicative of drowning. All right. Killer may be sportsman or hunter. Apart from going missing in 2010, the victims have nothing in common. Uh, covered in illegible tattoos. All right then. Already hard at work, Anderson. Close to okay. cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's does head down the hill to pause the crime scene. The it does not pause the game. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson. You're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm hmm Real funny, Anderson. Missing Doberman found on the trail. Chaos at Cauldron Lake. Does a hike a day keep depression away? Baking camp. Alright. Let's go. All right, let's go. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. <laughs> let's go. Uh, what's this? Mirror peak. Uh. Aha. Uh -huh. The mighty mountain. All right, it looks like a V point. Hello. Fucking nature gives me a headache. Who? <laughs> too much scum. Okay, so this one is blocked. So we gotta go this way. Uh, this is the murder side, right? So I want to check what's here. Let me go check. I'm going to go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Already? Uh-huh. Mortar falls. Okay. Hey, there's something here. Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Huh. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books. But he really hates the movies. Alex K a uh, manicure's fragment can be used to upgrade weapons in the mine palace. Oh wow. Hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode. This significantly increases the rate of fire. More bullet. Increase the magazine size. Land two hard shot in quick succession to stun an enemy for an extended duration. Wow. Okay. Well, that's a. I don't know how a manuscript would be able to upgrade a weapon, but sure. Because I can just come from there, right? All right. Welcome back, Anderson. <laughs> Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around. They all had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. 
Okay, we're going to the general store, right? Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. Yeah, I'll go and take a look at that, but I want to check what's here. Psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob? You forgot the UFO cover up. <laughs> Let me check here. Come on, what's here? I mean, it's blocked off, I know. A lunch Aha. box again. Aha. Who's leaving these out here? Remember, it's just a bad day, not a bad life. Okay, so we gotta go to the murder side, right? So I can just directly... Uh, I suppose I can directly go from straight here, right? So let's check that out. Oh, uh, this one is blocked. How to do a turn? Ah, I see. So if I double press... Weird quick turn, huh? Okay. Wondering what's inside the. Oh, let me check what's inside. Uh, I didn't check. Can I open it? Just give me a second. Yeah, I can, right? Anything here? Hey. What's this? Uh, some suspicious activity f spotted. Alright. Aha! Uh -huh. Large amount of supplies. Okay. Anything else? No. Can I open this? Okay, that's locked. I guess that's all here. Hey, eh? what was that? No, I can't pick that up. Okay, fine. Let's go. What's that side? Huh. Can I go and check here before I go and do that? Seems like... Yeah, let me go and check. Yeah, this side, right? Let me go and check. 
Okay, what's here? Huh. Hey, what's this? Hello? Aha! Another lunchbox. How do you like the knitting hero? I made it just for you. Oh, what's this, something else? Oh, I see. Uh, UFOs and you. Oh. Huh. Hey, what about this one? Huh? Let's go back. I suppose. And since I'm here, let me check this place out also. Right. Aha. Anything here? What's a creepy that? twig sculpture. Hmm. Huh. Deer head. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Okay. What does that do? I mean, I see there's something here. Some signs. Anything? Huh. Okay. What about this? Nothing. Some weird signs here, man. Okay. What's this? Wonder what's inside. Uh, confused, follow around for a way to open this thing. Confused, follow these steps. Wash your hands. Take the chicken out of the fridge. Take a nap. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Wait a second. Wash your hands. Take the chicken out of the fridge. Take a nap. So, let me see. Wash my hand. So that would be he. Uh, no, what? This is not a washing that place, right? Here, right? So my my hands are washed here, right? I mean, what else I can say? Take the chicken out of the fridge. And it's a take a nap. Oh, maybe, maybe, ah, oh, it's this one. Wash my hand is here. So this is 45 there, up and right. So 45 up and down and left and right. 45 up and down, left and right. Uh, 45 this was on the other side I think this one up and down this one ah oh, yes nice secret stash so give me that and this what was that Adhesive bandage restores a good amount of health. Oh, all right. Oh, that's nice. Let me check here. A 
Okay, so this one is blocked off. Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. Huh. Nice talking to you too. Huh. Okay, let me check the other side. Investigate the crime Locked. scene. They really okay. don't want people coming in here. All right. So let's go here. We found him on the table. Now, we didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures okay. and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Hmm. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this yep. fit the MO of the previous murders? Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Okay. Uh, you unlocked your first key mage. You can place it on the case board. Okay. Sure. Let's do that. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Uh, okay, new question. Okay, let's... Uh, there is another case. Alex Casey's lunchboxes. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message. Okay. So we got Bright Falls area. Think. Let's change to this one again. We got three, right? right. Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Man, it's brutal. Hey. Okay. Newly discovered clue can be placed on the open question. All right. Let's put them here. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. Hmm. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Alrighty. Uh, learn more about the victim. Learn more about the killer. Sure. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Huh. Need to find more clues. Large That's amount good. of blood on the table. The victim died here. Multiple people were here. Okay. Multiple killers? Uh, let's check the clues first, I suppose. Uh, Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Someone was drinking beer. Okay. They spent time here. Waiting. Okay. Multiple killers. Heavy blood splatter. Boot prints. Indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Hmm. Uh, learn more about the victim, I suppose. How do I do that? Do you know who the victim Any was? Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. 
I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Heh! <laughs> okay. So you knew you that we could. Victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Hmm. Okay, what happened after he so got fired? what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Nightingale so he... went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Alrighty. I think that's everything. For now, at least. Mm-hmm. Anything clicking yet? Not sure. Need to think about it. Okay, let's think about it then, right? So should be here. This is also the victim. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Let's put him here. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. Uh-huh. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Victim came from... Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Alrighty. Let's do that. Missing Agent persons. Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Hmm. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. And Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Okay. Captain came from the lake. Alright. Check the lake, sir. Sure. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Let's the go. Way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. Hey. This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Let me check here first. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. And that seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? <laughs> Haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. 
Lots of answers for us to find. I'll look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. Okay, so what's this? The witch's heart. Okay. <laughs> uh. Uh, anything here? Nope. Man, this is squeaking. Let's check here. Oh, come on. Aha! Friday. Okay. What's that? Oh, battery pack. Okay. Batteries are for charging fast tide. Okay. Anything else here? There should be. There's another lunchbox. Aha. I know things can get delivered. Okay, Alan is watching over us. Alright. Uh, let's change to the case. Oh, sorry. Alan Casey's lunchbox. Okay, I got four of them, right? Alright. Lake Shore. So let's go back. Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. <laughs> Forest can be a dangerous place. Let's go. I didn't know trees got big gives me the creeps you need to get out more hey <laughs> it is kind of creepy though tracks barefoot uh. nightingales okay they come out from under the boulder it makes no sense there's a piece of paper on the ground okay A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt, like a message. felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How, How could they, they not accept? accept even, even if they, they knew, knew it would end up hurting them. them. Okay. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. A witch with no heart. A strange echo of owl murder. Hmm. I should profile Nightingale about this page. Okay. Uh, let me check what's here. I want to walk around for a minute. You know where to find me. Can't go any further. 
Water's too deep. Okay. And then that means there's not much here, I guess, okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm checking the mine palace, it's fine. Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. Dangerous place. Alright. Uh Okay, manuscript page. Alright. Profiling. The page. A page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. Mm. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. Okay. Murder at the... Footprints emerging under rock. Okay. Trial has uh, trail has gone cold. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. Huh. Anything else here? Okay, okay. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Casey, right. I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. The text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? All the above? It's all about control. Deciding what happens to who. Don't let it drag you in. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. Here we go. Why are you there, Birdie? I'll be back in a second. Roger. Did you know this entire area is inside a caldera? This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine huh. the force it took to carve this crater out of the earth. Calderas are pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So, essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. You got it. Hey, I used to love geology bad. when I was Good. in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not gonna say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean, my daughter. <laughs> I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy. I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Give it that to me. Thanks. Let's get the car, drive to Bright Falls, and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Yeah, but why are you not coming here, man? Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go <laughs> for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. 
doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Let me check here. Another one of those lunch boxes. Yeah. All right. Okay, I got the five. I still need three more. Let's go. Oh, he's finally here. One piece, Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed. Tripod. Tracks leading to a dead end. Hmm. A tripod for a camera to record a, a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? Stuffed in something for us to find. Hmm. Let's go back. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. <laughs> 